On this episode of Out on the Road. It's not even stiff yet. He's like swinging this dead coyote and not. I, I thought that he was gonna kill me. See, this is why I love my job. Jamie, there you go. I really, I'm not even saying. <laughs> My nerves are already plucked. Just plucked. Hey guys, I'm Davey Wavy, and I am in Palm Springs with my friend Dwayne, who you might remember from our trip to Spain. My name is Dwayne Wells, and I'm a luxury lifestyle curator and travel expert. Well, Dwayne and I are back at it again, road tripping through the American Southwest in search of my gay cowboy. Hey girl! Hey girl! We're back at it! We are! Uh, Unbelievably! Dwayne and I are kicking off this road trip starting in Palm Springs. I just think it's so nice of you to, to do this road trip with me to find my gay cowboy in the American Southwest. Yes, I'm thrilled. I don't know what all the fuss is about cowboys. I just want to be by myself. I have a lovely room. Look around me. You see the quiet. Perfect. We can't have you lonely because you can't be worrying my nerves all the time. <laughs> that's right, that's right. <laughs> we're gonna start things off right with something very Dwayne. Yes, I like this. We're, we're doing a little kickoff breakfast at the Parker Hair Palm Springs. My favorite hotel. The highlight of the trip so far has been pulling up to the valet at the Parker. Yeah, and you don't even know about this car. Oh, girl. This car is horrifying. So each time we do one of these road trips, I try to think of new and creative ways to torture Dwayne. And this time it is with our mode of transportation. I can't wait till the kids run out <laughs> and then the police stop us because they think we're pedophiles. We're literally two hours in. We've already had a fight. So here's the issue. I was in charge of organizing Palm Springs and I love staying at Indulge. It is a clothing optional gay men's hotel. I've avoided it my entire life. This pretty much encapsulates what Indulge is all about. Well, do you have a plan B? I do have a plan B. Do you because really? Because you know what? Do I you have, really I have, have plan learned. B? <laughs> I have learned. Davey wants to stay at Indulge. I refuse to stay at Indulge. I am staying at Arrive. We're already not even in the same hotel. Pinch, 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 pinch. So, day two, and we're driving to Scottsdale. We're going on a road oh, trip! You're looking hot in this car. I'm a hot mess. <laughs> Girl, I'm hungry. 15 minutes into the ride, Davey announces that he's hungry. I'm dying. I I'm staring out of the road, and there's literally nothing. So Dwayne points out that there is a McDonald's in like 40 miles. I'm not, I'm not that hungry. <laughs> I'm not. I draw the line. Don't want to stop. I guess you're just going to be hungry. Okay, it happened. You know, a girl's got to eat. I got to gotta maintain these curves, you know? I'm not proud. <laughs> but I am hungry. I'm not going to lie, the Eggman waffle was kind of good. <laughs> I did no cheese, no butter, though. Wait, did you get two? <laughs> did you? You got two Ed McMuffins. Don't worry about me. I'm not worried about you. Just I am worried about you psychologically because of the amount of food you consume. But... <laughs> so this was kind of bad planning considering that we're supposed to be finding my gay cowboy and now I'm eating McDonald's. You think? Well, it's a good thing today's video is sponsored by Pure for Men, the dietary fiber supplement. Do you know what Pure for Men is? I've heard of it, but I don't really know what it is. Okay, so it's a proprietary blend of psyllium, flaxseed, and chia. Basically, it's like a sponge going through your intestines, and it makes sure that when you go, you like fully go. I mean, the idea is that like it reduces prep time, and it makes you feel more confident and comfortable. I've been doing the Pure for Men for about a year, and when I started, they said to me that you were gonna have a uh, a bowel movement where when you wipe, there's nothing on the toilet paper. Is this too much information? That's way too much information. <laughs> it happened. It was a ghost poop. It also helps with controlling your weight because it helps you feel full longer. Oh, well, controlling your weight, I'm all on board. <laughs> now, now, you're I'm, now I'm in. I'm all in. <laughs> will you try some? I will try some. Okay. So I'm gonna put the link down below and, uh, and hashtag. Stay ready. On our way to Scottsdale, we're stopping in Fort McDowell to go on a cowboy experience. Can you feel it? Can you feel it in your bones? I do, I can feel it. 
I can feel it in my prostate. What don't you feel in your prostate? Girl, there's a cow. There's actually a cow on the side of the Oh my road. God. I come in peace. I don't know, he doesn't look very peaceful to me. He has big tits. Do you see that? What do you mean he has big tits that would make it a she? Girl, I had big tits. I'm a he. It was that a was he. a she. Stop, would you stop? You're being she, gender- She cows don't have horns. I'm confused. Maybe it was an intersex cow. Oh my God, it was not an intersex cow. It's just presenting its masculinity in a different way. I, that's right. I can't put this piece in. <laughs> no, this cannot be in there anyway. <laughs> We're definitely in an episode of Westworld right now. These cactuses, I live for you. Cacti. Cacti. Also, somehow, like, in all of this, Dwayne manages to pull out, like, full cowboy boots and, like, and gloves. <laughs> There's a whole lot going on here, cowboy. My outfit for today was perfect. It was sort of urban cowboy. So, uh, we're here with Troy, and this is, this is your ranch, right? This is the stables of Fort McDowell. Do you think that Dwayne and I look like real cowboys today? Uh, we got a little work to do. <laughs> <laughs> it turns out we're terrible cowboys. It was lovely riding the horses. I do enjoy a brisk canter. But if you're gonna be a cowboy, you also have to do the cowboy chores, right? It's a full package. You always gotta clean up after the horses. So. What does that entail? That entails running a wheelbarrow and running a manure fork and manure. picking, yep, yep. So, poor s***, we're gonna get a nice close up. So the chore <laughs> is shoveling manure. Probably, I would have to say, one of the least favorite activities I've ever engaged in in this life. Is there a form to this, a proper form that one Yeah, and you don't have it. <laughs> Dwayne was scooping horse <laughs> like it was gonna bite him. There you go, perfect. Look at that. A real cowboy. Boom. And then, of course, it was my turn, and I couldn't resist. Oh, 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 oh this up. one's fresh. Oh. <laughs> this one's fresh, girl. Look at this. Get away from me! Don't come near me, Damien! Come near you! I'm really, I'm not even playing. I'm not playing. Do not come near me right now. Oh, my nerves are already plucked. Just plucked. So it's time to check into our room at the Hotel Valley Ho in Scottsdale. Here's what happens when we check in. You know, you know the movie Two Girls, One Cup? No. Okay, well this is Two boys, one sweet. We have two lovely rooms, and it turns out that one of them is a brilliant two-floor suite. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> this is, <laughs> what the hell? There's a full kitchen. There's a dining oh. room table. Oh, yeah. Living. Living, yes. Here's what I will do. I will offer you a compromise. The compromise is Dwayne gets the two-floor suite tonight, and then tomorrow I get to pick the hotel. And you know I'm up to some sort of But I get this room this You get this room tonight. Tonight. So immediate gratification. But, okay, I have stipulations. I'm not particularly worried about what might happen tomorrow because I was very specific with Davey about what the room needed to be. It needed to have a structure. It needed to not be out of doors. There's no camping. We're gonna shake on it. We're gonna shake on it. You just got goofed. <laughs> you just got goofed. <laughs> so one of my friends, Daniel Miller, who is an underwear model slash YouTuber slash cowboy question mark is in town. And if I need to find my gay cowboy, then I guess it's as good a place to start as any. The first test is, do you know how to put it on correctly? I believe, I believe I do. Let's see. Oh, the bitch did it. It did. Actually, yeah. Does okay. it work for me? Yeah. It's working for me. Yeah. Actually, I think what's the most important about being a cowboy is that you look good with the hat on, but shirtless. See, this is why I love my job. What's your best yee-haw? My best one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeehaw! <laughs> okay, that was the worst. No, we're done. Wait, that you was the worst. Yeah, worst yeehaw I've ever heard in my life. I just got here. You are cute though, but so Daniel is a sweet guy, but cowboy, he is not. Oh, is that sweet? Yeah. <laughs> oh my hat! Wait, I need my hat. Awesome. So, girl, we are on our way to Holbrook, Arizona. And what's in Holbrook, Arizona? I'm a little bit nervous 
because I don't know where we're going. Just to recap, you had the suite last night. I get to pick the accommodations today. I don't know where that is, and I'm a little bit freaked out about it. Are you bitter about last night? Not at all. I'm not feeling good because we're in the middle of nowhere and there's nothing. It must be indoors. It's indoors. It's indoors. Uh, it, in other words, it has a door. I don't know where we could possibly be staying. Girl, this is what America is. This is the heart of America. This is no, the soul. You know what America is? New York. LA. <laughs> oh girl, I see our hotel. Wait, where? I hope Get not. Get left lane. And then we pull up to the Wigwam Motel. Nope. 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 <laughs> it's not right. It's not okay. <laughs> These are awful. Park this the is car. horrible. <laughs> And turns out there's only four TP motels in the United States, and now Dwayne and I will have stayed at two of the four. Uh, not an honor that I've ever sought, to be honest. This is the one that Oprah stayed at. What's especially exciting about this TP motel is this is where Gail and Oprah stayed during their road trip. This is the one I saw about Oprah. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. This is the weird one. <laughs> I was kind of like, oh, Oprah. But that lasted like five seconds. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. <laughs> so we check into our TP motel rooms and I have to say, like, I don't think that they're really that bad. You know, bleak is the word that comes to mind. You're an evil man. You're cruel, baby. It looks like a public bathroom at a, at a Greyhound station. You know, at a certain point, I mean, you know, I did some investigation. There was nowhere else for me to go. So I just surrendered to it. I said, this is where we're going to be. I'm just going to put on my pajamas, take a pill, and wait for morning. All right, guys. So it's nighttime here at the Wigwam Motel, and I made some friends here. We're all just chatting, and we're having a great time. I'm telling them about Dwayne and how uptight he is, and we decide to play a prank on him. This is Connor, and Connor has some uh, hey. roto? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> that stings! Not as much as those two foxes I had in here. It's not even stiff yet. <laughs> so he walks up to the door and he's like swinging this dead coyote and knocks. And Dwayne, to my surprise, answers it. How's it going, sir? I'm room service. I open the door and I was horrified. I mean, horrified, like terrified for my life. I, I thought that he was going to kill me. It was going to be black man killed in Holbrook, Arizona by local. <laughs> Some people just don't know. Fine dining when they see it. The ultimate compliment of the day was that they told us this was the second most interesting thing that has ever happened to the Wigwam Hotel next to Oprah. So, girl, that is some good company. Good morning, girl. Let's go! <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> If not sooner. The drive to Las Vegas is, I think, probably about five hours, but it feels like five days. What fresh hell? This is the part of the ride where Dwayne really starts to get on my nerves. Well, we made it to Vegas. And I need to be clear that I am not driving into the Mandarin Oriental in this van. The Mandarin Oriental is a, it's it's a five-star luxury hotel. So, so we need to discuss who's going to pull up to the valet. Now, I don't think the valets give a holler and hoot about who gets out of the van. And that's fine, and if that's the case, then I think you can pull in. I can't believe I'm doing this. I have to get out, go around, get in the car, and drive it the remaining 10 feet <laughs> to the valet. So, so we arrive, and I am back to life back to my reality, back to luxury. Good morning, girl. Well, good morning, girl. We are, what are we doing today? We're going to the Grand Canyon. My entire life, I have wanted to go to the Grand Canyon, and today we're doing it. And we're not just going to the Grand Canyon, we are taking helicopters there. Literally, why hike when you can helicopter? There's no words, it's just so, like, breathtaking. Looking out over the red rock and the cliffs of the Grand Canyon, 
it's perfect. <laughs> it, it really is like, it, it, it leaves you speechless. Yeah, I actually have no words. Like flying in, it was like, it was kind of like magic. And didn't you feel like history? Like I just felt yeah. like I saw like the this whole This is world. older than you. Yes. <laughs> like by like 50 million years. <laughs> Going to the Grand Canyon was hands down one of the most incredible experiences of my entire life. Cheers, Cheers. to Out on the Road Southwest. Southwest. So now Dwayne and I are heading to the Luxor. Yes. yes. Girl. Yes. Queen. Yes, queen. Everyone's really curious what's the update on Fear for Men. All the tweets that come into the <laughs> I just would like to point out that um, I have noticed that um, I have had a more um, consistent, uh, solid stool. Have you had a ghost poop yet? I've had a, an almost ghost. So it was like a one wiper? It was, it was just, it was a very quick, it was, it was very clean. Did you ever think you'd be talking about your Um, I, I, I prefer not to use that term, but I am, um, I, I, you your know. Your fecal matter? <laughs> it's getting worse. <laughs> and then we're heading off to Zumanity, which is a Cirque du Soleil show, or as I like to call it, Cirque du Soleil. And let me tell you, this one is gay. It's a wonderful, sort of raucous, risque, take on sexuality. The show is just so erotic and it, the bodies and the, oh my God, girl, oh. Davey in the Zumanity show, he's like, he was salivating. There's nothing that distracts, distracts him like a cowboy of any variety. So here we are with some of the cast members from Zumanity, you handsome guys. Yeah, I'm a happy camper. Tell us a little bit about the show. It's Cirque du Soleil's show about uh, sensuality and sexuality. It's a very different Cirque show. There's definitely quite a bit of skin, as, as you can see. What's this yeah. with the shirt? Yeah, well, yeah. So I, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just trying to promote Zoom <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think you I should take it off. <laughs> I think you can promote it better without it. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. One of the things that we were really impressed with uh, was, like, there's a lot of queerness in the show. Can you guys speak to that a little bit? I mean, obviously there's every aspect of, of love, so there's, you know, male, female, 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 uh, male, male. Um, and it's all about just the acceptance of just passion and love and loving no matter what gender you are. But girl, we were we were waiting for that gay kiss and they make you wait. That's like the second half of the show. Finally, these guys like start fighting and, and I'm like, oh, it's coming, it's coming. And it, and it was good, it was, it, was, it was worth the wait. Yeah, it's just a whole, smorgasbord of just people rubbing around and having and enjoying each other's bodies in general. And I want them to know that I certainly enjoy their bodies. <laughs> Thanks, <Dwayne. laughs> Just wanted to add that, that on in case anybody didn't know. Tonight, we're going to have um, a lovely dinner at Tinder, uh, which is one of the more uh, legendary steak and seafood houses on the Strip. And we are ending our night with none other than a surprise zipline experience. Well, we're in old Las Vegas, and the thing to do in old Las Vegas is the zipline. <laughs> and after dinner, zipline. Some people have a mint, some people have a cocktail. Apparently, Davey likes to zip line. <laughs> it really may kill me. It may it may push me right over the edge. Three, two, one, go! Yeah, 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 sweetie, yeah, 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 sweetie, yeah, yeah, that was an experience, sweetie, yeah, yeah, So the zip line, it was a fun way for us to end our experience, but the fact of the matter is we were here for a very specific reason. We did this road trip to help me find a cowboy. So, you know what? No, I know exactly what you're going to say, which is, like, I think through this whole experience, what we've learned is I need to pick myself up by my bootstraps. Like, I need to shovel my own horse I need to be my own strength because I can be... I can be my own cowboy, right? Actually, I was just going to say you should try harder. <laughs> Truth is love. So thanks guys so much for watching and Dwayne, thanks for being here. I think. Yep, thank you again. Thank you for having me, baby. And I'm gonna put a link down below with uh, a link to your blog post, which has all the information about everything that we did. And uh, you guys in the comments below should let us know where you want us to go next. Or not. Or not. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks for watching, and as always, more to come.